Jess, you take the lead here because you're the fit guy. Well, so, you know, I, I see a former athlete, and I'm yep. always on, on kind of the edge. I'm reading a lot. I know there's always new foods. There's new workouts. What are some things that people in 2020 should be looking at when it comes to some of these new trends potentially? Such a great question, and I think it's so frustrating because there's so much health and wellness information, and you never know what's really going to work. But we're going to start with this chicory coffee. Wow. Chicory coffee is really interesting. It comes from the chicory plant, okay. and what happens is you take the root of the plant, you grind it, you roast it, you brew it just like you would a regular cup of coffee. My dad's from Louisiana, like down he south. He may know Chicory about this. Yeah. Popular. He might know about this. Mm. Now, have you guys ever tried this? No. You've never tried it. So it tastes great, but this is a total try. Okay. I want this on your list for so, 2020. So do this. Is, do there, this. is there caffeine in it? Is there's it like no coffee? Caffeine. Does it help you wake there's up? No oh, there's no it, caffeine. There's no in caffeine. There's no caffeine. For a lot of people, it's a great way to come off of caffeine, but here's what it does have. It has well, anti-inflammatory. Okay. Oh, well, all right. I need that. I always got a puppy that. I drink a lot of red wine. So do you, buddy. It does help your liver, by the way, so you could follow that with maybe a cup of the chicory coffee. And it also helps protect against inflammation. And it has a taste. It has the bitterness kind of you get from coffee. I could I could you see could this. Do this. I mean, yeah, it doesn't totally. taste like coffee, but it's really pleasant. It is pleasant, and it helps gut health. So it's 40% inulin. And inulin, if you don't know what that is, is a plant-based starch that really helps your digestion, helps your metabolism. Okay. And the gut, we know, is the foundation of health. Okay, so, so this is a try. That's a try. Okay. Super easy to make. Roast just about a tablespoon, just like mm. you would coffee. Mix it with some almond milk. Oh, the same measurements. Beautiful. Equal parts. Beautiful. You're done. Like it would normally. Okay. What's and right. no Next. caffeine, if you're no concerned caffeine. about that. We've got plant-based fish here. Now, on the heel, Wait, 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 back up. Based burger. No, no, no. <laughs> check please. Wait, Plant yes. Plant based Fish. fish. You so there's it. no fish in the fish? Is it like there's no fish in the fish. I, I've heard of Impossible Burgers. You guys have heard of the Impossible Burgers? Oh, I love the Impossible so Burgers. I, mean, too, I love it. it. Sometimes I, love I can't it. even tell. Is this well, sort of look, like Impossible it Fish? It is. It's sort of impossible. Well, you know, 2019 was the year of the Impossible Burger, right? right, right. It's everywhere. Lots of great plant-based options. This is plant-based fish. What do you guys think? This I'm is like a toss a or a try? I'm going to say toss. What do you say, Rachel? Toss I'm eating it already. I'm oh trying. Okay, so this is a toss, and let me tell you why. Okay. Because the plant-based fish... <laughs> Exact, exhibit A here. Plant-based fish has a lot of processed ingredients. Right. It has potato starch, modified soy protein. I was going to say, it, have, it doesn't taste like fish to me. It, it tastes has, like a soggy tot, a <laughs> soggy potato tot. Well, that's one way of describing it. But it also has beans and legumes. But at the end of the day, we want to lower how much processed foods right, we're getting right, in, right, right, right? That's really the goal I'm going to get excited now because I see ice cream in front of us. Well, ice cream is always a good treat for everyone. Absolutely. But oat milk ice cream, have you tried that? I love oat milk in coffee oat and, milk. and matcha. So I, I love oat milk. So oat milk is really tasty, has a lot of great fat in it. My now friend gave all... me an iced coffee with oat milk. I was surprised at how much I liked it, actually. It's yeah. actually pretty good. So now there's a whole slew of oat milk derivatives right on the heels of the oat milk craze. Okay. Ice cream is one of them. Now, toss or try. No. Well, I'm going to wait for the answer this time. <laughs> what do you I'm, I'm going to guess You're non, on non dairy. I'm going to say try. I'm going to say so this is going to be this good. This is actually a toss. And the really? reason is, is because wow. they've had to make wow. up for the taste with a ton of sugar. And we're already oh. a really over sugared culture, yeah. right? We should be counting yeah. our sugar grams, aware of how much sugar we're getting in. And so for that reason, it's a toss. But. Oat milk bye bye. is still healthy, and oat milk. Oh, like here's this. a glass of oat milk for you, Rachel. <laughs> but oat milk is still so easy to make. You just soak the oats, you know, anywhere from 30 minutes up to 12 hours, and then you can flavor it however you want. So here we have some cinnamon. So some cinnamon, some yeah. people will put some nutmeg in it or vanilla, okay. and you know, this is cinnamon, actually nutmeg. This can be your Festive? healthy treat. Yeah. So. Or just straight yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this cold. is a this is one to try for 2020. You got it. It's right. like oat milk. Good. Do you like good. it? Yeah. Right. Good. Thank you so much, Dr. Taz. Thank you. Thank you. You can catch more of her great advice on her podcast, The Dr. Taz Show, Superwoman Wellness. It's available, available wherever you guys listen to podcasts.